Uh, All right, way? folks, we're back. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Okay, I'll wait and we're getting set up. We've already got the trucks going, Copy. getting moving. This will not take as long as last time, I promise. Um, That's why they just brought, we brought it right back to me. And I'm sure they'll get up here, drop their drop their stuff on Coyote Ridge. The U.S. will be moving shortly, position themselves. And we lost Jack. I'm going to be covering. Back. I'm actually going to switch sides and yeah, cover the U.S. again. Okay, four. My bad. Boom. All right, there we go. Right, I'll be covering the attacking squad again, since they tend to have a little bit more communication between all right, them all. Let's mount up. Let's get out of here. Late spawns can use around. Let's get back up to the ridge. Good old Coyote Ridge here, and it is. It's a nice little ridge line. But let's go. Let's go over the operation real quick, since we're here, and we can go over it without too much chatter and stuff on my comms. Uh, we'll pop it up here for you. All right. Uh, well, first of all, U.S. are going to have two automatic riflemen, a grenadier, and a medic. They get a transport or two transport trucks and two logistics trucks. Those are all strictly for transportation. They will not be utilizing any of the supplies within the logistics trucks. The Russians get two automatic riflemen, one grenadier, and one medic per squad as well. They will be able to place a fob uh, anywhere along Coyote Ridge within the three given grids. And they get the two Lodgy drums to, to dump them That's and use them to supply. That's all they get as far as lodges go. Uh, next is the briefing docks and stuff. Uh, the Russians have to put a fob in Juliet 9, Kilo 9, or Lima 9. You can see all three of those there. They can pick any spot in there and drop that fob. They'll be able to reinforce it twice. The U.S. are tasked with sweeping and clearing that whole area. And they can do it from any angle they want, north, south, east, or west. The Russians start at their fob. The U.S. starts at Sector 4. And I'm going to go over... I'm going to go over our squad leaders, our commands, real quick. I was previously I was previously following Shadowed Ritual and his squad. Uh, they are now Russians, and they're going to be defending. His squad leaders are Jack Reynolds, Sightless, Fear Paradise, and Tedish. Same as last round. Uh, the U.S. who are attacking are going to be the same as last round as well. Command for them is Expit. So we're talking Let's see if I can get over there to where they're at. Yeah, Expit's their command. He's got four great squad leaders: Swine, Silas, Captain Matt, and Digit. Yeah, sure. yeah. Uh, they'll be bringing the heat from Sector Four again. Go ahead and strip. Yep. It's like the, it's like, it's like the Russians are already getting ready to drop their fob, and drop their hab. Now they don't, they don't get to build anything until live. I so the it. Russians can drop their fob and their hab and then get their guys over there, but they can't actually put anything down until yeah. live. Uh, there's no I'll ticker see. on the fob anymore, so it's not going to slowly yeah. gain Take points, double. supply points anymore. Double. It used to do that, but it, not anymore with the latest update, and we can expect that to stay for the eternity of this game. Right, same fire team. So same they, they will get their 2,000 build supplies, I guess is what it'll total to. Or maybe 2,200 because it spawns with 200. The U.S. don't get to build anything. They get nothing. All these trucks are is transportation. That's it. Might as well put out an ammo crate too. Uh, they're going to get their kits organized. Most likely the same as last round. That's usually how people do it because it's the same, same kits for both teams. Hmm. If anyone's just joining us, this is Operation Coyote Ridge. This is Squad Ops. We're a one-life event. We host these One Life events multiple times a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's a great time. Great. Uh, our focus is on immersion, tactics, and teamwork. Uh, my name is the Muff Bandit. I'm the one who's going to be, sure you you're going to hear my loaded, just deadly voice all day because I'm going to be killing it, I tell you. There we go. They got their hab down. They'll probably drop an ammo crate so that their guys can resupply if they need to. Sometimes people get a little antsy and spawn in early. Uh, we try to be patient with that. A lot of people, it's their first event. They're not quite sure how to handle it. So you see some guys running around, not sure what to do. They usually get, you know, all the advice that they need and their questions answered. We try to get all the questions answered before getting into the event, but that's not always the case. Uh, what else do we got? You guys checking out Xbit. He's going to be leading the attack this time. 
Seems like we're still getting a few people in this server, if we can. Yeah, let's do a command brief mm. real quick, just the uh, 5FS. Alright, sounds like the Xbit's pulling his squad leaders over. We're gonna do a quick command briefing. Before the platoon brief. I wonder what he's gonna do. We saw the we saw the big Western push from Shadowed Ritual last round, so who knows what they're gonna do this round. I can see some marks being placed down in the southeast, most likely by Shattered Ritual. They're not spawning in yet, though. Maybe they are. Can't ever tell. Ooh. It's new. New system. The admin system. Oh, I can see the fob way over there. So they got the fob down. Back it up. Back here to me. Boom. It's the five heads collaborating. Back and then Captain Mac could have swung around behind him. I'm pretty sure it's just there. Yeah. All right. Without any All right. Looks like they're reviewing last round. They're reviewing their last round. The U.S. are over here making a worm in the ditch. All right. So some of these people are just they don't have the patience to sit there. You got to want, you know, like if you've ever been in like the waiting room at the dentist or the hospital or something. You, you know, you have that kid running around that, that's out of control and his mom doesn't do anything. Well, that's probably Scrunty right now because he's leading the thing. No further than the ridge. Nah, maybe it's Captain Foley. He's calling the shots. basically this whole trench line. Maybe it's team building exercise. It seems like they're using great teamwork. They're well coordinated. They're all crawling together. Yeah, definitely a uh, team building exercise there. Snowzy Production says, do I have to be familiar with the game before joining Squad Ops, or can I just straight away after buying the game? Well, there's certain, there's more than, than just having the game to be in Squad Ops, or at least to participate in an operation. You have to sign up. Now, we do want you to be familiar with the game, but we have had very new players take part in these events and have a great time. You know, it gets them even more hooked on the game. But, um, for most events, almost all events, except for the first event every Wednesday of every month, is it's a closed event where you have to sign up and you have to have that squad ops tactics and training basic course under your belt. You have to take that and pass or, or get certified. We, we call it getting certified, where we just say, boom, you passed. And you got you got to do that. And then you can you can register for anything, blah, blah, blah. You know, get into any event you want. You know, as long as you register, you're there, you show up, you're not on the wait list, you're not, you know, outside of the first 80 that are in. Let's see. Uh, as as for that, that's it. That, it doesn't take much else to, to get in. We have, we have the advanced weapons training, which obviously gives you preferred, you know, you get the preference on being chosen for, say, a grenade launcher kit or a lat kit. To go over to this trench, and we're going to propagate you into a new home. Uh, I'm trying to think anything else. Not really too much else. It's trench over here it's to the pretty easy. We try to keep it open and easy to get into because we want people to come and play because it's a lot of fun. Can that warm up, boys? If you look at them, see part of the training, or at least come, we've kind of created the safety shovel thing. Everyone's got their shovels out because we don't want anyone to misfire and accidentally shoot someone in the head. So it's hard to shoot someone in the head if you have a shovel out the whole time. Like you'll see medics, they'll get a bandage out or something. But all right, Peyton. All right, we got ourselves a heck of a game of worm going on here. Let's just let them rock and roll here. For the record, I don't know if I can dome this. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see it, you guys. We didn't see anything. Shh. Let's talk about my mustache. Right, Takes years of hard work and dedication, Google Trex. Right, you know, you got to trim that thing up. You don't want any stray hairs poking up into your nostrils or anything. It tickles and it's annoying. Looks like our worms, have, they've split up. They got cut in half and they're going different ways. I don't know what's going on here. Can we get, can we get some aggro Thank you. on this uh, deflated Porsche you're talking about? You know, once Shovel Melee is released, I'm sure safety bandages will be the thing used. 
So we're going to dump on the far east. You know, if you can kill with them, then maybe it'll be a map, safety smoke grenade. I don't know. There's two green fields. Oh, thanks, Uncle Poop. Yeah, this game is really trees. cool. It's a lot of fun. Use those trees, and then there is a valley. It's a lot of fun, and this is just a. Much we this is our own custom here, version of it. I mean, if you want constant gunfire oh. action, crazy. That's just what and the game is. That's the vanilla version of the game. Is firefights, tactics, running in, capturing points, getting crazy. We we slow it down here. That allows us to branch either go to the north side and go get on the first. Three, we're oh, gonna I'm told ridge. we've we're got Russian briefing going on. We're gonna buzz you over there. You get to listen to Shadow the, uh, Ritual tell his guys what's up. With an MG facing down. And uh, I'm gonna listen too, so we can see what they're doing. One is gonna be north northeast of us, uh, close to the ridge. Three, yeah, three is gonna be west of us at the end of the trench, maybe a little north. And four is going to be on the fob proper. One in th uh, yeah, one and three will not be hardening up at their locations. They're just there, scouts as a, as a squad. You're going to engage, and then you're going to fall back. So be sure your uh, riflemen have their uh, sand eggs in pretty good locations to fall back from, or they're in a pretty good location to fire from. Um, and that's that's about it. We're just going to defend here. If all all command goes to hell, you're going to fall back to the fob and defend it with your life. Any questions? Cool. Squad leads, break them out for any last details. I'll call for last. Uh, do we want to use the trucks? For... Um, we could place them north of us, just so they have. Uh, so one has places to fall back from, since they're going to be having the longest distance to run through open fields. Or we can place them up there with you two, so you have a little more cover. I'm more inclined to place them for one, two to use as, or one to use as quick fallbacks, if they uh, want to. We're gonna be around the fob proper, or we'll float, help dig wherever you see fit and stuff. All right, as you can see. Shadow Ritual did a great job of marking as he was saying where he was going. So he's he's basically spreading them out north, west, south, and east. He's gonna have his guys real spread out. And I'm hope I'm thinking, you know, first sign of contact, fall back in, you know, relocate type of thing, you know, just react to the to the contact, which I mean it's all you can do really, unless you're trying to push out and be the first to attack them. Uh, but you know, that's risky, especially if you send one squad and they run into the entire platoon. So this will be good. We'll see how that goes for, for them spreading out like that. I've, it was tough for XBit last time, so maybe this big spread out everywhere will, will help instead of leaving two squads way on the west where there, there's no time to come and help them. Let's see here. You know, I don't know if XBit's done his briefing yet or if he's just having... I think he's just having his squad leaders. I think he's just having his squad leaders tell everyone what they're doing. We might not get a platoon brief up from him. So we'll get we'll get live here soon. Does anybody else have any questions? Anything like that? Anything you want to know? Yeah. Oh, let me read through chat here. How do you get into this server? Uh, Flaming Delta, you... Yep, you'll have to check out our, our Discord. Uh, we don't even give out the information for this server until until right before the operation, especially the password. We, we keep the password protected so that no one can come in and and uh, disrupt the fun times. Um, as you can see from the chat that has been spamming the entire time, Nightbot it says we're giving away a squad key. Click on that. There's multiple ways to get in too, multiple ways to enter. So you can, you can uh, if we're giving it away in just a week or two here at the end of July. So definitely get in here, get yourself signed up, win that game, come join us, have a good time. You don't even have to play with us. You can just win the game and go play wherever you want to. There's a bunch of different servers, a bunch of different communities and clans. Uh, we are the only, as far as I know, the only One Life event community. Squad One, if you need a vehicle space, we have a room in the back. Uh, let's see, I just got a question about Underage people and how many people under 18 play in operations? You know what? I have no idea. We we kind of keep this basic rule of a, right, a maturity see. level of 18 plus. So 
if you're if you're younger, say say you're a fourteen year old kid, well, if you can act maturely, communicate well, you don't sit there and cause problems. You're not you know jumping in circles while we're trying to do briefing, and you can exercise a little discipline and patience in certain scenarios. You're going to be just fine. The way I've always explained it to people is, if if I don't have to ask you what your age is, then it's not a problem. But we've had people like that are 23 years old who come in and act like children, and we have to remove them from the community because they don't respect us or the Discord or the people within the community, or the community in general. So if you want to be a part of it and help it grow and have fun with it, that's great. That's great. You can be a 12-year-old kid in there having a good time um, and, and working together as a team. But if you're going to act immaturely, uh, cause problems, if you're going to throw a smoke grenade like right now, if someone threw a smoke grenade right now, I'd kick them. Kick them right out of this game. They won't be able to come back. So it's it, it's it's that easy. It's that easy. Be a little bit of disciplined. That's all it takes, a little discipline. We're live at 112. That's 52 seconds. And we're going to be going quick, too. Looks like they're all loaded up, ready to rock and roll. Uh, tell me this is a full lodgy right here. Look at all these guys. Yeah. A lot of them. Yeah. Alright. 20 seconds. And Xbit's in the front truck, so you're going to get to see him taking off from the very get-go. We are live in about seven seconds. Go ahead and broadcast it. Bam! There we go. Live, live, live. Here they come. Next bit leading the way, driving along. Let's see which way he decides to go at this intersection. You know, I've noticed we this performance issue, the start when these vehicles get moving. I wonder if that's what it is. See him jerking in my screen a little bit. Should go away when they get out. Hello again. Well, it looks like they're going to be heading in from the east side this time. Yeah, I got it. Taking a different approach. And they're staying way out of sight. Notice he's staying on this far northern road. Doesn't want to push down to the south and possibly get spotted. It can't be heard from this far away. Where do you need one? Yeah, okay, question here from Jake. Do you not allow them to use reshaders or anything, or do you not use reshaders? Actually, there's no rules for or against reshaders. If you want to use it, go ahead. Some people swear that it gives them that crisper, clearer look and all that stuff. I, I, I actually had that for a while. I got rid of it. I didn't like it. It actually gave me a performance decrease. That was a long time ago, though. Things have changed. I'm not sure what it is now. I know I'm not going back to it. We do, however, run night operations. And, and, again, our honor system is very strong within this community, and we ask that nobody changes their gamma. We just let, have them leave it at default, and, and it keeps it dark for everybody, you know? We, we run the night operations for a reason. If, if we wanted everyone to be able to see great and, and have easy shots, then we'd run everything on a bright, open, cohort toy map, you know, where there's nothing, never any fog or haze or anything. So, but for the most part, we want your game looking as cool to you as you want it to. Let's see. Also, is not for me asked if, yeah, like Neural said, the SOTT course. That's our basic SOTT course. Teaches you a lot of the comms. Teach you good things like you know how to call out directions uh, accurately and quickly. Teach you formations. Teach you how to bound and cover your teammates as they move forward. Because suppression is real in this, man. You get bullets whizzing over your head. Your screen shakes. It gets blurry. It's hard to shoot. No, Neural, I'm not going to say the ABCs. Because people need to take the course so they know what they are. And I'm not going to say the 3Ds either. Way outside the map. Can't see us. 
Look at this, the U.S. going way, way around here. Gosh, I can't even see them. Are they even on the map anymore? They're not. They're on the side of the map here. I think they're right along the edge of the map. I would like to report 34 players for glitching out of the map. Yeah, they are. They're on the very edge. I'm going to zoom in because we've got a squad up on the hill here looking. That's Tedish's squad. They got some sandbags up there. He probably had his rifleman place those sandbags. Riflemen now get one sandbag place. So they've got, got themselves a good little party up there. Party on the hill. All right. They're dismounted. Here we go. Tons. Tons of them just barreled out of there. Now, you can't see it on the map, but they are pretty much directly east of Coyote Ridge. So I'm going to right over here. If you look at my mouse, they're right over here. I did see a little blue tick, so they're just straight east of that fob. Keep you informed on where they go from there. Looks like the squads are breaking out, getting together, organizing themselves. Uh, they're going to uh, push in hard sorry, here. That was just us too. So, uh, I'll just be on. Is that PK? And and if it, you can check the website for scheduled yeah, SOTT yeah. classes and stuff like that, yeah. but. They do so many impromptu ones. Like, I guarantee you after this event today, they're going to have an impromptu session for a bunch of people but so that they can participate in the next event tonight, this evening, which is in approximately three and a half hours. Right. I'm going to be walking in this little ditch here. You know, I don't know if the Russians have seen them or not. I don't have any comms over there at all. But you can bet the Russians are looking uh, we everywhere. Don't wanna, we gotta make sure we have enough sandbag areas for everybody else to spread out in. I don't want to be all clumped up whenever we actually get pushed back here. Next bit saying just get north into the forest. Let's hold there. They're gonna organize themselves. You know what? It looks like the Russians spotted them. They have got guys down here looking. You know, they very well could have. There's a lot of open terrain. They could have caught a vehicle running across the wide open area there. Oh, and look at that fob location. That's a that's a new fob location. They've got it on the very north side. All the previous fob locations have been on the south side of that of the south side of this road. So this is new. This is new by Shadowed Ritual. This is an unorthodox position. I like it. I like it. This is gonna be cool. And there's the line of U.S. soldiers. Look at that. Just a beautiful line coming in. Mm. I guess we call that a file. All right, digits. Have them right down this blade right into the forest. Digits right in the front of that line. All right, we're moving out again. Waiting for further orders. They are all coming in. They are just a whole team, one giant line. Follow the leader. It's like the first guy that's going to see him is going to be Claws Point or FX 1000, maybe Stray Dog. And Sightless is the squad leader over there, so he's around too. Probably got his Binox out. Let's see what that Hill squad's doing. Now I see Tedish over there with his Binox out looking. His whole team is looking this way. They know. They got to know. They're all looking this way. They've got to know they're coming. You know, I bet they saw the vehicles parked over there. They, that's what they're looking at. They're looking at the vehicles. That's what it is. So that vehicle location may have just given them away. Oh, Xbit's leading the way now. Command is in the front. That's dangerous. That's dangerous right there. Command followed by a squad leader. So if these two go down, that's a two, big hit. No going to hold like to sneak down here on Xbit and just see exactly what he is looking at. He is looking at bushes, trees, shrubs, all around an assortment of vegetation. Russians definitely see him. 
All right, they're spotted at the tree line somewhere in there. We've got eyes. Oh, and I think Teddy Shazak can actually see him. All He's right, actually got eyes on him. Oh, definitely. Look, if you look, you can see this whole squad coming back. That's Jack Reynolds' squad with Asatru, Raider. They're coming back to relocate to help out. They know the whole team's there. So this, this could get rough. Oh, all right. Swine just called him out. Swine saw him. He called him out in Lima 10. So he just saw it. Got to be Tedish's squad or another squad. Maybe the ones by the FOB. All right, copy that one. You've got contact to your southwest now, about 200 meters. Looks like they're adjusting. Oh, and Xbits spotted him. He's falling back. He called him out. Around on the hill like we talked about. Yep, three and four. Go ahead and start flanking. We're just going to so keep sitting here with, with Dr. Unique and Claws Point. No more than about 40 meters from each other. Probably less than that. Ooh, you know what? I think Claw's Point's a medic, so if he goes down, that could hurt them. Go ahead and have you guys still cross over to the MSR to the north and twos. Maybe he's a medic, maybe he's He is. He is a medic. So you see. Uh, Just to... see what goes on. No, four, you need to follow three. You gotta wonder if Claw's Point here knows how actually close the enemy is to him. How close 30 freaking guys are to just walking all over him here. And I'm looking up here to the off to my west or east. That's squad three moving. That's Captain Matt's guys. They are heading for it. They're heading up on the hill to check it out. This is a wide open hill, though. They have a little bit of concealment, but man, if they expose themselves and shots start coming in, it's going to get hectic. It's going to be hell to get out of there. There's the shots. Here they come. That's Ted is shooting. Or, or an AR, maybe. That's two of them shooting now. Okay, there. The shots are coming in. Jeez, someone just hit Ted -ish. Gosh, I can see the bar up there. Ted -ish actually did get hit. All right, Egalox sawing back at him. He's taking some fire back. Oh, buddy. Oh, someone else gets hit up there. A lot of long-range shots happening. Oh, you must got one. Someone went down up there. Oh, it's Claws Point. Claws Point's down. Claws Point is the first casualty. He is a medic. He is hurting. Plenty of suppression going on. Digit's got his squad onto the north side of the road now. Looks like they're going to start clearing out there, or at least trying to reposition. Oh man, there is a lot of gunfire going on. Not a lot of casualties. People staying low. Oh, Turtle Guy 5 goes down up on the hill in Tedish's squad. Now the Russians have killed two, the U.S. have killed two, so it's two deaths to two deaths. Good work going on here. Kind of a stalemate. Everyone's just kind of staying in their position. They're not moving a lot. Uh, I got guys below me moving, Mighty and his squad. That's Sightlesses, I believe. I don't know. Silas, that's Silas's squad. Yeah, okay, Silas. Oh, Xbit got hit. He's bandaging. Probably gonna get a medic on him shortly. Getting pretty quiet now. Mostly just Captain Matt's squad. And who's that? Who's that squad? Swine, Swine and Captain Matt both moving. I'm seeing a bunch of people. I saw a bunch of people. More shots going up. I'm surprised Tedish is Tedish hit again. Wide open hill up there. That's that's a risky spot to be in for those guys for sure. 
That's it. Oh, here's Fun Guy and Pronix. They're they're pushing close. Crossing that road's gonna be just a death run though. Let's say get over there. They've got an entire squad of guys. A lot of U.S. smoke grenades out. Five, if you can push down to the forest where three, uh, three's command or three's SL, you can, you can. If you can make it down the hill. So like, like where? Head south. Yeah. Hearing, I'm hearing comms and Cap Matt's trying to give suggestions to people, but he wants them to run through the field of death that only three guys made it through. That's where the rest. That's where the U.S. casualties came from. Was trying to push down to where Cap Matt and his guys are. Let's see if they get the flank on them. The Russians are doing a great job. They're being very patient, just holding their positions. The U.S. are sort of scrambling. They're getting spread out a lot. There's there's just two squads on the north side, but the rest of them are very spread out. They're they're breaking apart. So let's see what happens when these guys get up here. It's Metzger, Agalock, and Cap Matt. They're all being very cautious. They're about to be exposed. Cool. Let one probe ahead slowly. Right. It looks like the rest of Captain Matt's squad is finally pushing way, way over there to the east side. They're going to wrap around. Wrap back around Agalock. It's going to peek through the bush. Right, let's see if they're looking. Oh gosh, a few of them getting in the wide open. They could have a few easy shots here if they peek at the right time. Like Tear Gun's sitting right there. Suck It Scuya is right there. They're prone. Tedish is also prone. Let's see how they do. Oh, Fafinator might have saw him. Nope. No, nope, must not have. They decided they're going to wrap around a little bit more. Trying to hard engage uh, and pull back, but try and press them as they're trying to get back. Look, sounds like they're trying to get back to their vehicles and uh, remaneuver. They're even wrapping around farther on each other. They're all wrapping around. They're gonna try to outflank each other. Up on that hill with you, Fetish. What you doing, one? U.S. are really, really spreading out now. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, There's... Keep moving towards the... keep up. Oh, Digits, Digits going to keep moving to the west. One keep... oh, there, there they go. Agalok and Metzger got spotted again. Let's go ahead and move on the north side. My fire's a drop behind. Watch keep west, watch west. Really no, I just don't know what they're doing there. They're, no one knows what to do here. I don't think Captain Matt's guys are totally surrounded. They've got a full squad distracted, though, so if the rest of them start moving in, they do have the numbers. Sightless is bringing his guys down to the east a little bit. In the meantime, two full squads on the north side of the road where there are zero Russians. Got three, got that is a pretty good squad. fortifications built here. All with riflemen signed Covering their out. bunker. Or their hab, sorry. Here, we'll, we'll give you guys the fob overlay again real quick here. Come in. That thing right in the middle of the screen there. The fob is what allows for all these buildings to be built. Or the or the sandbags or Hesco walls or machine guns, mortars. I mean, the Russians could, they could have built mortars if they wanted to, but they didn't. It's totally viable. No one they can build whatever they want. Back on Tedish. He's up there on that far yeah, south hill. Now the R Russians are really spread out right now too. So we have just got little battles going on everywhere, or at least little battles fixing to happen everywhere. Jack Reynolds. He's so far south, he might as well be in Georgia. Xbit's telling people don't don't be don't be getting static when you start getting shot. Keep you guys moving. Let's 
squad for friendlies on this hill. Oh, Shidenator goes down. He gets popped. That was Tedish, I think. One tapped him. Oh, one tap Tedish getting work done. But he lost a guy too. I see a dead body there. Pretty quiet now. It's a stalemate. They're all in wide open. This is just nuts. I don't know why anybody would want to fight in this wide open field right here on this hillside. This is crazy. I don't know what they're expecting. Beowulf getting shot at by Agalock. He's going to have to bandage for sure. Oh, Metzger gets him. Metzger gets Beowulf. Good work. They better move or Tennis is going to get that eye on him. And he's going to pop him. Tear gun is very suppressed. Agalock's keeping him down. Jack Reynolds is off to the south still. Another one goes down for the Russians. We have someone watching north, right? That was a, I don't know who threw that. Perhaps it was Tear Gun. Not sure. Jack Reynolds goes down. That was Rach or Scrunty. Both of them popped at him. That wide openness. You can't run once you get shot at. Captain Matt's down, too. Captain Matt gets taken out. Gosh, I'm missing all these deaths. All's quiet at the Fob and Hab. Northern side of the road has just decided... Not to move. They're still sitting there. Oh man, Ted is just Ted is gonna. He's gonna get these guys. They don't see him. He sees them. He's turning. I saw him turn. He's all over them. Yeah, there it is. Agalock gets hit. Metzger gets hit. Metzger's down. Ted is gets Metzger. Tear gun, Asatru. Oh, A Agalok gets dropped by the other team down there, by the rest of Tedish's guys on the pillboxes or the sandbags. Squad two is coming. Tear gun goes down finally. Send it. Two, I want you to head back. This is just a crazy, this is a crazy match right here. I don't know what. No one's, one no one's at the fob fighting for it. They're just all running circles around each other. This is kind of funny. We got a Satru, Rocky, and Fulcrum Keep moving. left for Jack Reynolds' squad. I don't know what the rest of them are or who's in his squad and who's in Tedish's squad. Swine is going to try and touch every side of the map before he comes in here to to fight. There, now, look, there's the whole squad. Sightless' squad is down where the original push-in was coming from, from Cap Matt and his guys. Nobody left there. They were a little late on that push. In the meantime, Digit, Xbit, and... Uh, I think Silas. Yep, they've all got here way to the west side. Two. All right. Xbit sees these guys down here. You see Sightless's squad. Mike, nine, keypad two. New contacts. He's still got this southern hill of doom. Down goes another guy. Squad two, I want you to go far. I don't know who that was. Back to the same route you came. Well, that was FHB MSR Hendo. Contacts off of Mike Nine. Got caught pushing through the wide open field. That, everyone's fighting in these fields. Uh, just sit tight and uh, let, wait for the one to try and get behind them. Don't try and press them too hard. Still, just a big wide open fight up here. I also have enemy fire coming approximately. Let's check at the kills. Seven to seven. So it's pretty even so far. A lot of work being put in by everybody. A lot of running. People have been doing a lot of moving around. And look at that. They're still... I don't know what these guys on the north side of the road are doing or expecting to find. I think they're confused or something. I don't know what, what the deal is here. They're, they got nothing. Ooh, here we go. Squad Digit squad way, way over to the west side. They're going to push south and try and get these guys off the hill. They might be able to flank them. Asatru, Fulcrum, and Titan. Asatru goes down. We need to gain the high ground. I believe the fob is set someplace in Defilade and Lima 9. All right. Xbit just, just decided that the fob might be in Defilade and Lima 9. He made a good call. Let's see the kills. Still about the same. Right there, about the same. Hey, we got people. We got people zero. 
just Ted is still uh, taking shots at what, about a full squad's worth, but it's two squads now. What's left of them? Not sure who he's shooting at, but he sees somebody. Got the binocs back out. Trying to get the side on him. Really blending in with that bush, being one with nature. Gosh, he's got him on the top of the hill over there. That's what he sees. It's like command, we're taking fire. a swine and his guys. Expert popping shots. Suck at Scooby and Fafinator taking the brunt of that. He's doing what he can to help his team out. Trying to slow him down. Oh, gosh. Getting pushed. On. Silas's guys are pushing. Mighty running up the hill, trying to make something happen, leading the way here. Captain Foley right behind him. Silas falling, staying back, trying to guide his troops. He's going to walk right up on FX-1000, Sightless, and Fig. See if he decides to throw a nade. Oh, Fig's going to see him. No, he's not. Fig's not looking. He's going to wrap right around him. He's got the saw. There he is. He gets Fig right there. Down. Captain Foley's going to move up. Good call by Mighty telling, telling Foley not to peek. You know everyone's looking that way. He'll get dropped right away. But did they know there's four more guys up there? A little fire team up here. Okay. Looks like yeah, Silas got good. one. We got Silas left. Like and a fire team off way to the east. They're wrapping around. Darkstyle, Keevan, John Hancock, and Vishnu. Good spacing by those guys. They're going to start pushing in. I think Darkstyle's actually sees Mighty. Yeah, he's taking shots at Mighty. Fuck me. Oh, Shadow. Good call by Shadow. Gave Mighty the good call out. He's looking the right way. Shadow's going to get seen. Oh, he sees Vishnu. See if he shoots Vishnu. He's going to see Keevan right there. Oh, he gets Vishnu. He's looking at Keevan. Darkstyle goes down to Mighty. Cam Foley's moving up. Cam Foley sees John Hancock. Oh, grenade takes out Foley. Good night. That was John Hancock. I'd stay away from that guy. He's got a GL out. He ain't afraid. Of Boom, another one takes out Silent Death. Yeah, just walk up right where your buddy got grenaded. See how that works out for you. We got Shadow and Mighty left. John Hancock's there and Keevan, both alive and well. Guarantee we're going to see another grenade launcher coming our way from John Hancock. As soon as he sees one. Hey, yeah, they're bailed. They said see you later. Gosh, everything is so spread out. Everything is. Expit, all by himself, north side of the road. Nacho, Evans, Shadow, Ritual. Look at that. That's how close the commanders are. Expit's on the right, Shadow, Ritual's on the left. It's amazing how they, you tend to think like your opponent sometimes. Right there, they are holding the hill. Mighty Silas, Cantador, yeah, Shadow, are, uh, holding the hill. Silas is the squad leader down there. They've got good uh, comms going on. He reported what yeah, was just happening. In the meantime, Tedish and all by himself. That bush is Bush Tedish right there. He's not moving much from it. Maybe he did move a little. He did. But gosh, there's Rate, Lord, and Miyamoto all just right there in front of Tedish. To see. Oh, he drops Miyamoto. Just make sure you scream when you die. He's. He's got Rate and Lord in his sight. Let's see what happens here. Yes, yes, Neural, I do. I like exploding deaths, okay? Rate goes down. Ted is just picking at him. He's got four already. Let's just keep moving around here. So much going on. Digits, they've run the, like a marathon so far. Uh, d yeah, Xbit's saying to try and get the high ground, and Digit's like, oh, that's wide open field, man. I don't know. Digit gets it. He's, he's been gunned down in a wide open field before. He knows what's up. Check this ditch. There's still a whole squad up there. Tedish is looking southeast. That swine guy's coming in, and they can 
If they get Tedish, they can really make a push. Really good push on this hillside. Get this hillside. Boy, they could do some damage from up there. But, of course, they've got an entire squad to wipe first. Let's see if Digit can wrap his guys around. Oof. All right. Expert gave Swine the orders to push north. See, here they come. Tedish is probably... Just Let's licking his lips know. right now, looking at all these U.S. soldiers running in. Yeah, Blue yeah, arrows up, going to go to red arrows down here. So. Oh, he can't see them. They're still just over that little defilade hill. Oh, he's going to see it now. Just off to his left. Let's see if he notices. We'll watch him whip it to the left here. Ah, there it is. There it is. He whipped to the left. He saw him. Oh, looks like Swine saw him. Oh, Swine's hit. Tennis taking shots, he hits him again. Oh, Tennis gets hit, I heard the ow from him. He's bandaging, he's backing up into his bush. Getting out of there. You guarantee you, he's talking on comms right now, saying, you guys, there's dudes up here, be ready for it. He doesn't have a lot of room to run, he's kind of stuck there in that bush until something else happens. Swine just reported contact to the west, so. Tedish has been called out. They are shooting at everything. They don't even know which bush he was behind well, anymore. Yeah, we're, we're shots from the oh, just he just the dodged the bullet from the chaotic vamp. Swine's shooting at him. Oh, Tedish is just, he's pulling Matrix shit here. Bobbing and weaving bullets. Yeah, he's throwing a smoke grenade. He's screw that. I'm covering myself up. Oh, chaotic vamp is going to get the shot. Better take the shot. Oh, there's one right in the chest. Tedish is going to die. Yeah, it's your west. He says to hell with it. He's out of bandages. He's going in. He's going to kill somebody down. He bled out. Nice try, Tedish. Oh, gosh. Digits guys are pushing in and just getting wrecked here. They didn't get close enough. They've been spotted. And, and if you're wondering why maybe the, the U.S. are getting pretty pummeled here, they're... They're definitely not going in at the same time. They're not. They're, I'm not hearing the comms saying, you guys go, you go. Nope, there's none of that. It's start pushing this way, start pushing that way. Xbit's not getting any... Most of the information he's receiving is what he sees himself. Han Von Solo is down. We're down to Pronix, Fun Guy 5, and there's a few guys back there, but they're so far away. You know, it's like almost like a fire team at a time is getting wiped for the U.S. So they're just not pushing in at the same time very well. But Swine's guys, they got Tedish and they're pushing in. Suck at Skuya came and, and took over Tedish's spot. Wherever Tedish went to. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Tedish's squad doing good, putting in work. It looks like I'm shooting at friendlies, but are they on the other side of the hill or something? Uh, yeah, friendlies are back a little bit. You're firing on enemy position. More hill-to-hill -hill warfare. These guys are shooting at each other. And, I mean, let's just zoom out a bit here. They're, they're about 500 meters apart taking shots at, at each other. So it's hard to be accurate at this distance, but the suppression still works. So it'll still keep them down. Look at that. All of them are prone. They're all staying down. Afraid of bullets coming right. in. You can see Fafinator got hit. Jenga Master coming in to heal him up. It's always nice to have that medic around. Give a short, give a short burst on it, but keep it low. Right on that right sandbag, if you see it. Suck at Skuya got hit. He's bandaging. Swine spreading his guys out a little bit. Digits got a bunch of smoke grenades down up there. They do not want to push straight that way, but that's what they're doing. So that'll be a gauntlet run. Between you and me, there's about a fire team size element still manning those sandbags. All right, that's Silas and Digit. They're talking to each other. That's that's this squad here and that squad over there. So our two southern squads are talking. They're trying to push their way in here and take out these sandbags. If they can do that, that will be good. Digit got hit. They're 
covering each other. Another guy gets hit for the Russians. Oh. Sukatskuya went down. So the U.S. are pushing in a little bit more. If we moved up a bit, see if we can Bravo can hold and see if we can move up as well. I'm gonna make a push to get it with squat four now. Oh, and they're getting close. They're up almost to Pronix, who's been laying there for a while. Since his fire team got wiped, he hadn't really moved. But looking at it, we got Jenga Master, Fafinator, Carpy, and Triton. So four Russians left up here. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. U.S. soldiers pushing in. They're about to take this hill. Yeah, well, they do that. It could turn around really quick. Yeah, Shadow Ritual and Evans SMA are together. They were together last round, too. We're gonna wait for them to come Must out be his personal here. medic. Oh, one, four, two, one, four, oh two, there's two, shots. One, They're taking shots down here. here um, Carpy goes down. Jenga Master is hit. He's bandaging. There's the teamwork we're looking for. See how they're pushing it at the same time? You see that crossfire? And Tracer's crossing each other? Yeah, it's a Russian shoulder. You're shitting your pants right now. Jenga Master just finished getting up healed. Oh, he's a, he's a medic, so he can oh, actually heal himself. Oh, grenade right on him. Uh, he's done. Further. Good try, Jenga uh, Master. Fafinator and Triton. Yeah, now they are on the just, other just, side of their own sandbags. Yeah, and look at that. Down there's there. Mighty and those guys shoot. Oh, they're getting wiped. They just got totally freaking sideswiped down here. Sightless's guys. Hancock, John sightless just a three of them took out a few it's like one guy left here and it's mighty he's the only one all by himself and he's bandaging look at all the people flying around let's get rid of that for a second the hill is the u.s look at that this is for we're taking heavy fire uh, we're clearing these sandbags with this they, one right they here. got the sandbags good right. job by four swine right. and uh swine, swine and digit left. really worked that really well they did awesome awesome Guys got swept from the east or something. Uh, north, north, northeast or some shit. I don't know. There's probably some right, random I guy got... just laying down. All right, I got. Oh, there's guns coming up. Just my southwest here. So it's somewhere. In well, the there east. they are. Now they're they've give away the fob position. All right, let's see what these guys do on this hill now. They don't want to overcommit. If they start rushing down that hill, they're just gonna get wiped. Oh, there's grenades getting launched down there. Look at that grenade. Did some good damage. If they get another one down there, oh man. Let's see if they fire a couple I'm nades. There we go. Taking damage. All right, they've got the Russians on the defense now. They've got them suppressed to hell. Look okay, at that. They're all bleeding. Yeah, stay in hardcover and try and uh, just sit tight. All right, my squad's down. Let me look. look at this. All of a sudden, the U.S. have 25 down and the Russians okay, have 20. So I'm as these as the numbers get lower and lower, the more each kill yeah, makes yeah. a much bigger difference. They're probably going back. Oh, Shadow Ritual spotted. Shadow Ritual takes a hit. They are now focusing well, their fire on the commander of the Russians. Shadow Ritual goes down. That is commander down. Only guy left over there is Evans SMA, and he is definitely spotted, and they are shooting at him. He's bandaging. Oh, he's going to get hit. I saw a poof of dirt right in front of him. Oh. He's not moving. He's playing dead. See if we can move up east and try to get down off this hill. He's all by himself over there. All right, that's you know what? Shadow Ritual did a good job. His guys don't really need to know much else. They know that there's guys up on the hill, and they know there's, there's just got to hold. Let me see if I can get a good head count here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Russians, two, four, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. Okay, I think yeah, that the bags and contacts in front of me here. I think that the Russians it's still have the US outnumbered a little. Don't burn too much ammo. Nah, maybe not. Command two, do you want me to try to Where am I missing? Oh there, I missed these guys right here. Yeah, There's three more. That's fine. Eight, I don't think ten, one and four are gonna 12. be able to come off the hill any anytime soon. It's about twelve to eleven. As goes, oh, Mighty just took down one over it. On that north, on that far east. We're just gonna stick around here, though. See what we can do. 
And Mighty's down, eight and eight. Poor guy. All right. Well, that is going to allow Keevan and John Hancock to move in a little closer. But Digit's kind of moving around here. Let's see, what, see what happens here. There's no time limit. Expert is the command, and he is just right there. Look at how close he's getting. He's going to walk up right on Masonic Holmes and Terry the Tally. If they're not careful, he's going to shoot him right in the back. We might get a first-hand look at it right here. Let's see if he pull, decides he wants to pull out a grenade or not. There it is. All right, let's watch it go. Bye-bye, Masonic Holmes. Nice knowing you, bro. Boom! And the Russians just slightly pooped their pants a little bit. And actually, Terry the Tally got hit and damaged, too. Good, good nade by Xbit. That was great. That was great. Oh, and now he's shooting. Giving away his position as close. That's going to turn these guys around and give those guys on the hill a little bit of time to sneak in. Uh, very... Oh, here comes the other one. He's throwing it far and hard. Oh, it's a smoke. I thought, yeah, squad leaders only get one grenade. All right, here comes Digit guys from the south. They're going to come and see if they can't help Expit a little bit. And Expit's down. This is four. There's still a couple of enemies uh, north of the blue smoke. We're just going to follow Digit in. He's got some shrubbery to go through. Uh, looking at kills. U.S. have the slight advantage. As for positioning, it's obviously for the Russian advantage because they've got a mini fortress Actually, built yeah, down here. Um, digit, once you attack, you tell us and we'll, uh, we'll head down from the hill. All right, I just got the good word. Digit's going to start making a lot of noise. And when that happens, here comes the swines guys. There's only four or five of them, but they are going to tear down that hill as soon as Digit's guys start unleashing. And they're pretty close here. See what happens. I'm I'm pretty sure everyone's out of grenade launchers right now. Got Doctor Unique in there, real close, peeking that tree. Uh, scoreboard seems pretty clear. We could suppress them enough for you to move up the hill. We could suppress them enough for you to move up the hill if we're on. Did just getting ready to suppress. It sounds like. Let's see if he does it. The rest from Bravo moving on the bunkers. Stop clearing. Heartbreaker shooting down here. Doctor Unique's moving up. Digit's moving up. Techno Chris moving up. They are going to get real close to this before they start shooting. Couple grenades. Smoke grenade out. Uh, this is where we're getting hit from here. We can't go down from here. Where's those other two? From here. John Hancock and Keevan still way out there in the east. Dr. Unique throwing a nade over. He's, looks like he's going for Terry the Tally. No, didn't do it, but he hit him. He's bleeding. Terry the Tally is bleeding. Dr. Unique is rushing around to see if he sees him. He doesn't because Terry the Tally is dead. He bled out. All right, we're down to four at the Alamo. And Zabari's just outside. Evans SMA is way to the southwest. Then we got two more up to the northeast. I hear another grenade come out. I think. I thought. You know what? You hear that gunfire, though? That's just straight for suppression, just to keep them busy, keep them focused. They got friendlies down there that are pushing in close. And uh, they're about to make that move. Oh! Now friendlies shooting at friendlies. Dr. Unique better be careful. He's getting shot at by friendlies up there. Saw a couple. Now, if they get the right angle, there's probably a bush in the way there. Yeah, there's a little bush in the way, but Zabari's kind of exposed. Uh, Nick, keep an eye towards our direct west. Uh, unique on me. All right, dude, just pushing in. Here he goes. Leading the way. Squad leader leading by example. God, he's going to get... Oof. Uh, one, one. Oh. The, uh, the HMG bunker, HMG bunker. Over here, there's one in the HMG bunker, so be careful. All right, here we go. I'm right above, dude. I have nades left. You want any, anyone? He's peeking through the pillbox. 
Uh, to see if you can bulk hit the HMG bunker and try to tough sit in there. Oh, come on, Digit, get in there. See if he gets in. This is going to be awesome if he does. Darman peeking right at the right time. And Digit's move, though. Oh, look at Digit. He's sneaking around. In the HMG bunker. He's not behind it. He's in the compound within the sandbox. Oh, but Truth right Realm's going to die. He's going to get shot right in the back. Darman was shooting at Digit through the truck, but he hit the truck. Alright, clear out the hub. Oh, still contact here. Three in there, two the outside. Just Techno Chris and Digit. Let's see if they got grenade. Oh, yeah, Techno Chris gonna throw a nade in. Oh, Digit getting Raider. Nade goes down. Doesn't hit anybody, but boy, you know their pants are pooped. Tactical Hippie and Darman both in there. Digit not fearing nothing. He's going in, man. Oh, he gets he gets them both. Digit wiping it, man. He's an iron ass. He is old iron ass getting her done. Look at those flicks, man. He is unstoppable. Great job by Digit. There's Keevan and John Hancock way to the northeast. Nacho is north. Zabari and Evan. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Five Russians left. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the U.S. have the numbers right now. Great push. I can't believe that. That was just a great push by the U.S. to get in there. That was awesome. Digit played it well. He almost did a whole lap around that little little bunker setup they had, and he just went in like nobody's business and dropped them both. Oh, Techno Chris shooting at Zabari. Got him suppressed to hell. Here comes Dr. Unique. Dr. Unique is just there to the northwest, but he's not moving in. Oh, ho, ho. so Bari shooting nades saying, get out of my face with that. All right, so Bari's down. The radio's almost down. Evans SMA is going up for the hill that has already been abandoned by the U.S. Yeah, one thing down here. Okay, here come Keevan, Hancock, and Nacho. Just four guys left. Sandbags on me are clear. It's the U.S. turn to hold the fort down. Swine's coming in with the remainder of his guys. This is this is actually turned out to be a great match at the end here. A lot of a lot of clutch moments here. Digit leading the way with them. All right. Um, oh, he's looking. Sure Nacho's gonna pop up and shoot him right in the back if he's not care. Oh, four of tricks. Right onto Nacho. He's going to run right by him. Nacho's going to shoot him. And he's dead. All right, they know Nacho's there. Nacho's down. Noble Six saw that. We're down to three guys. Evans SMA way up in the... Nope, he's dead. Evans SMA is down. So we're down to two guys. Hancock and Keevan. Even's got himself an AR. Hancock's got himself a GL. I wonder if he has any left in there. I'm not sure. They've got their, their work cut out for him, though. Two, four, six, eight. Eight U.S. soldiers they got to take down. And Digit is on the hunt. He's coming that way with Heartbreaker. See if Keevan and Hancock even plan on pushing. They kind of need to to reclaim their zone. Oh, he's got Digit in his sights. He's going to drop him. Copy, copy. Let's go you going to get him, Hancock? No. Keevan, Keevan's taking shots. Digit's getting shot at, but he's not getting... Oh, no, he's not. Someone else is. Digit did get hit. And Digit knows there's two. He called out both of them. Oh, Digit gets down by Hancock. Oh, but Keevan's down. We're down to last man. Hancock, John Hancock. Got himself a grenade launcher. I bet you he's all out of grenades or he'd have shot one probably. He is pretty much one shot's going to take him down if it's a good one. He's already been injured. Oh, he's getting shot. Down he goes. That's a good game right there. Good game, everybody. Wow, that was good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven U.S. left. That was a good.
good match, man. That was nice intense at the end there. I tell you what. Good job, guys. Good job by everybody. Hey, thank you all for watching. Good to see all the people in here. Thanks for coming out. Make sure you register to get that squad or that squad key too. Uh, there's a link in the chat by the night bot. It's a Gleam giveaway. So get in there. There's more than one way to register so you can get your name in the hat a few times. Other than that, I'm going to cut you guys loose, hopefully. Uh, there's a training session coming up. If you guys have any questions, jump in the Discord. Feel free to ask. And I'm going to let you guys go. So thanks for coming out. Appreciate you watching. This was Coyote Ridge uh, with Squad Ops on uh, July 22nd here. My name's The Muff Bandit. I did all, I did all the talking. Thanks to our commands, x -Bit Shadow Ritual, and their squad leaders. That's Swine, Jack Reynolds, Silas, Sightless. Silas and Sightless. Captain Matt. SM Pure Paradise, Digit and Ten. Uh, we're we're going to do this. We're going to stream again. Session two. It's not going to be this awesomeness. It's just going to be me first person because our main man, Pen, the man behind the camera, he's not going to be here. So we stream this one instead. But man, you guys, come out for the second one. Come play in it. Come watch it. It's about two and a half hours from now. So thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for watching. If anyone's in here that was playing, thanks for playing. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'll let you go. Bye-bye.